Harriet Tubman was an American abolitionist, humanitarian, and an armed scout spy for the United States Army during the American Civil War. But Harriet was best known as a leader in the Underground Railroad. I think she's one of the best leaders. That is why she inspired me today, because of her grit and bravery topped in equality and injustice. To begin with, Harriet Tubman wanted to help others, including her family, to safety. So she joined the Underground Railroad as a conductor. According to www.duxes.com, it stated that the Underground Railroad wasn't a real railroad. It was a number of safe homes called stations that hid slaves as they traveled north. For example, slaves would move from station to station at night hiding in the woods or sneaking onto trains until they finally reached the north in freedom. Before Harriet became a conductor, she was a slave, and she was tired of it. So she used the Underground Railroad in order to escape and reach freedom. Harriet traveled nearly 90 miles to Philadelphia. She crossed into the free state of Pennsylvania with a feeling of relief and awe, and recalled later, when I found I had crossed that line, I looked at my hands to see if I was the same person. There was such a glory over everything. The sun came like gold through the trees and over the fields, and I felt like I was in heaven. In fact, life was so harsh for Harriet Tubman that she once said, I had reasoned this out of my mind. There was one of the two things I had a right to, liberty or death. If I could not have one, I would have the other. That means she wants to have freedom, but if she can't have it, she'd rather die than to be a slave without her rights. For example, according to biography.com, it says, physical violence was part of daily life for Tumman and her family. The violence she suffered early in life caused permanent physical injuries. Harriet later recounted a particular day when she was lashed five times before breakfast. She carried the scars for the rest of her life. From the reading, I know that it stated that the most severe injury occurred when Harriet was in Idelson sent to a dry goods store for supplies. She encountered a slave who had left the fields without permission. The man's overseer demanded that Harriet help restrain a runaway. When Harriet refused, the overseer threw a two-pound weight that struck her in the head. For example, Harry injured seizures, severe headaches, and narcoleptic episodes for the rest of her life. She also experienced intense dream states, which she classified as religious experiences. Harry has been through so much. This is why she is my hero. In conclusion, Harriet had the grit and bravery topped in equality and injustice. This is why she inspired me today, because she had the courage to risk her life just for the people she loved. Thank you.